Here are two ways you can use the gradient tool. So number one then is we can create an atmospheric haze in this image. And to start off with, I'll go to the layer menu and choose new fill layer. Okay, this just creates a vector layer that will enable us to edit our gradient non-destructively. Now, because we've created a new fill layer, it has automatically selected the gradient tool for us. So all we need to do is just click drag to create our gradient. And we can use the shift key to constrain the gradient to 45 degree increments. I'll just use it to create a nice straight line from top to bottom, then release the mouse button. Now we can also select the gradient stops and we'll see the color represented on the color panel here. So I can select the top stop and we can see it's set to a pure white. What we actually need to do then is select the bottom stop and change it from a mid gray to a pure black using the RGB sliders. Okay, so we can now on the layers panel set this fill layers blend mode to screen and that will achieve our atmospheric hazy look. We can even change the effect by dragging these stops. So if I drag the black stop here, we can change where the effect starts. Okay, so another use for the gradient tool is to create graduated masks. And I'll demonstrate this using this image by going to layer, new life filter layer, and creating a Gaussian blur filter. Okay, I'll just check preserve alpha on the dialog box and drag the radius up to about 10 pixels. So I'll then select the Gaussian blur layer to make sure it's my active layer. And I'll select the gradient tool. Then I'll just click drag and draw out my gradient. Now what we'll do here is again change this color from mid gray to pure black. And in terms of masking, pure black means no effect, whereas pure white means full effect or 100% opacity. So what we're actually doing is gradually blending the Gaussian blur effect out of the image from white to black. So if I move the white stop up, you can see the Gaussian blur effect taking over more of the water at the bottom here. Whereas if I just bring it down and then move the black gradient stop to about here, we can just achieve a nice graduated depth of field effect across the bottom of the water. And I'll just turn the layer off so we can see the before and the after. So very subtle, but you can just use the gradient tool to produce some really nice subtle effects using graduated masks.